So this is the War Machine Buster Avengers Endgame set. So it ha it has a uh, set number seven six one two four has three hundred sixty two and has three hundred sixty two pieces and four minifigures. So let's start the minifigures. To start off, we have two Outriders. One, um, it's from last year, with the four-armed apparatus on the back, which gives the pretty cool six-armed effect. It actually looks pretty creepy, so it's that Outrider. This one has the same printing as the other one. This one, you can see the back printing. But this new shoulder pad piece is new for the Outriders. And this one also has the gold Wolverine claws, or as they're called on the LEGO DC Super Villains character customizer, they are called long claws. Next up we have Ant-Man. This is an entirely new helmet design. However, the rest of the outfit is the same as pretty much every single other Avenger the Quantum Realm suit, with the exception of Iron Man and Captain Marvel. So, though I actually kind of like the shine to it and all the detail they put into it. This helmet piece is actually pretty cool. I really like what they did with it. The, it's too bad that this little breathing part didn't become molded, it was just printed on. But other than that, I think it's a big improvement from the last Ant-Man and the Wasp one also comes with a hair piece that you can put on to Ant-Man. It looks pretty great. I guess it's the best they could do for Paul Rudd. It also comes with this alternate expression where he appears to be quite scared. Next up we have War Machine. Stay. Okay. Again, like I said, he has the Quantum Realm suit. This new helmet design is pretty cool, how the um, gray starts higher. And he also comes with this, like, uh, uh, whatever, display. You can see better like this. Actually put a decent bit of detail into it. Focuses off, but whatever. There's also this happier Rhodes face on the back. Now, th this stud shooter here, well, you know how this works. You press down the button and... The stud goes flying! So anyway, I was actually able to get the stud back before the cats ate it. Now, it also comes with another stud shooter that he puts in his arm. But, as you can see, I attached it to the War Machine Buster to show you what you can do with this one too. So if you, um, you're supposed to have one in here and one in there, and then if you uh, take them off, you can then insert them. Into the hand of the War Machine Buster. Right there. Because he will not actually fit inside with those uh, things attached to him. So now we finished the minifigures. Let's get on to the build of the War Machine Buster. So here's the build. I love how it's not actually just a recolor of the previous Hulkbusters. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't get the Hulkbuster smash up from Infinity War. Mostly because I already had this one from Age of Ultron. And I just didn't see the purpose in getting another one. However, when this came out, this was just too awesome to, uh, you know, let slip, let it slip through my fingers. So, you can see how it's, how it's not a just recolor. Because. Well, look at these designs. They're like almost completely different. 
Uh, the War Machine Buster is, I think, a little bit bigger. Um, and but pretty much everything is different. The m most similar parts are just pretty much this. It's like the only common part. Yeah, right here. That's the only part that's exactly the same. However, these things on the top are, of course, new. And they can actually be posed pretty well. You can have it face down. You can turn it around because it's on a mini ball joint. You can have it then shoot up. So, I attached the war machine stuff. These arms, unlike the old, old ones, which are on a ball joint right there, these are just like on a connector piece that allows you to just rotate it, but if you have to want to move it, you have to move the entire arm. Which I guess is good for like repulsors and whatnot, but not much else. I also like this new um, opposable thumb thing. I really like it. I think it's cool. It allows you to grab a figure pretty easily. Like since War Machine's not in there right now, I can just have him be grabbed. Yeah. Well, I'm working this with one hand right now, so uh, hold on. Give me a minute. There we go. Once I got the use of my two hands, I was easily able to stick him in here. I like these new feet design because it can go up like that, and you can even make it sort of look like a general Grievous foot, like uh, like that. You stick these things out to the side. These new plates are cool. Just the whole gray and red thing is awesome. Wait, actually, I added these red pieces on either side, mostly because it was actually looking really really bland it looked like that right there I just like this needs something else so I added that in this also is the, this like heel thing looks awesome but another great thing is that from behind it actually looks really good it's all smoothed over in comparison look at this I mean I guess these thrusters look a little bit cooler maybe this is the blue added in there, but just look at the stud stuff. Ugh. And if you look from the side, you can see th pretty much just right through it. But there's also the, the opening mechanism. So you've got to lift these up, lift up the helmet. You can actually move these back and forth. So you can pretend like it's opening up. Just put them to the sides. Pull that down. Oh, sorry. Extra ammo actually is provided in the set, which you can push back there for these and the regular stud shooters. The difference, and then here is just lift up, and then it's actually attached by a stud. You're supposed to connect right there. Which makes it really hard to open up, especially in comparison to just this ah, lever that goes up and down and just stops. So, yeah. Remember this uh, turret up here? If I turn this knob, studs go flying everywhere. Well, I just lost the stuff, so now I gotta go find it so that the uh, cats don't eat it. Yes, we're talking about you. And you. So, yeah, that's gonna be all for now. It's a really great set overall. Wait, hold on, I gotta show you the packaging. So, here's the packaging. It's the usual $30 box size. I like this really cool side art. It has Captain Marvel, Iron Man Mark 50, Ant-Man War Machine. We've got some side art here. 
all the play features on the back. And over here we have some really ooper schmoopery cool, awesome side art. Just essentially it's just mirroring this over here. Got the Marvel Iron Man. Livy, stop. That's not Livy, but okay. And then we have this really cool art. So that's all for now, folks. It's a really awesome set for minifigures. And I gotta go find the stud. Bye.